Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm going to tap in and do a quick reading for you. Um, see what the messages are for you that are coming out here. Also, I will be going live on Sunday, March 5th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard. Um, if you want to get a quick one card, ask a question, I'll pull a card for you. Uh, super chat. All right, so if you want to join us, that will be on Sunday, March 5th, 1 p.m. Eastern. Okay, Virgo, so it looks like you are kind of not sure about something. Maybe somebody ghosted or you ghosted another person, but there's definitely an energy here of um, hmm, not knowing what to think about a person, place, or a thing, or um, possibly a person. There's a little bit of energy of like not being sure. Okay, let's see what else the messages are here. Some of you are hard, uh, it feels like having a hard time seeing reality or something, really just trusting your judgment or your intuition, but it's still like kind of like not enough information for you. I feel like somebody's maybe keeping some secrets or hiding something from you are not revealing something um, or someone went into hiding or is kind of like, yeah, it just kind of get like ghosting energy of some sort, just disappeared. Somebody just off the face of the, off the radar is what I feel here. Or keeping some secrets, being very mysterious. Could be you, Virgo, could be you. Let's see what else is coming out here for you. For Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I feel like somebody's trapped in something, trapped in a situation, stuck in their head about something, trapped in their thoughts. Um, okay, this is crazy. Who is this person? For some of you, this could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer or another Virgo. Um, okay, somebody can't get out of a situation. They can't move. They, they feel kind of stuck in something. So uh, it feels like a disappearing, can't do anything. So hiding, just backing off. Okay, I see the lovers in reverse, show it to you real quick, but I'm not gonna keep it up because I can't keep that card up. But um, it feels like a separation or some kind of d uh, breakup, perhaps. Two people have separated. They're not together, there's no communication. Okay, so, all right, we've got Queen of Pentacles here. So it feels like someone has separated from you or just kind of went off the radar or disappeared. Why did this person, what's going on? I mean, there's definitely, oh wow. These are some heavy duty messages, three of swords. Virgo, I feel like for you, since that's your card, the queen of pentacles, um, masculine or feminine, um, you're trying to understand something here. What's going on? What happened? Why there's no communication? Um, if there was an argument, did somebody like change their mind about something? Um, what is going on? I, I kind of feel Virgo, you're in this like, you know, trying to gather some information, looking at your computer or at your phone, trying to maybe reread some text messages, trying to understand what somebody meant <clears throat> or what they meant by something that was said or <clears throat> excuse me, asking yourself maybe if, if it was you, if you said something wrong, okay. What is going on with this person? Did they break up with Virgo? Did they just disappear? Like what, why? The question, why? Okay, so, all right, hmm. Okay, well, we definitely have someone here who's kind of like, oh, I'm very busy with work, but I feel like that's a lie. I don't feel like that's fully true. It might be a half truth, but I don't feel like that's the full truth. Okay. So why though? Somebody said they're just too busy or they got a lot going on. What is the, <clears throat> what is the full truth? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. The full truth is that either this person's about to lose their job or they lost their job or they got fired and they don't want to tell you that part. Okay. They don't want to tell you that part. <laughs> They're just saying, look, I'm really busy with work. I got a lot on my plate. I really can't. I feel like there's an element here of insecurity. Yeah. I kind of feel like this person doesn't want you to know that they're they've run out of money or they're broke or they lost their job or they're or either that or they've like all their money is gone. 
or they've lost um, their wealth in some way <clears throat> or their inheritance okay it's interesting why would someone not want to tell you that that yeah because of the eight of swords there just feels like there's an element of of shame with this person um yeah kind of feel like they're, they're they've like restricted themselves from trying to date or or i don't know I, there's an element of shame i feel like somebody does this person does not want you to know um okay we have the tower so so the the, the signs showing up here scorpio gemini um leo taurus aquarius pisces possibly cancer so they're kind of hiding out so you don't find out about this and they're looking for work they're they're trying to get their money back or looking for work money seems to be a big deal to this person and so it might be someone who like attaches their self-worth to their career or the their, they attach their value to money to how much money they have or their um materialistic material things okay that's 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 tough here okay and then i feel like okay virgo listen like this every day the message is different so it, it may not be similar to yesterday's message but this knight of cups here i feel like this person really does want to continue with you or have something with you um make some kind of a love offer toward you for sure but they can't right now because of a career thing or, or lack of finances or lack of m money i mean that's like the strongest message i don't feel like there's anything really psychological or deep i don't feel like there's infidelity or cheating um and when they have themselves back in a position to feel more stable and secure to make an offer to you um you know then they will be free like they're not free to do that and i i feel like right now it, it would probably would have been nice for someone to just tell you but i feel like they may have said something but they didn't give you the full truth yeah look and they may have said look i can't right now let's just be friends you know or let's just slow it down or just see each other once in a while i, I just feel like this person doesn't want there's just a lot of shame or um um insecurity um, they kind of feel like they're in a victim position. They don't want you to see them that way. And I do feel like this person, once they get themselves together, will try to, um, you know, reconnect with you to keep continue moving forward. You Maybe this is someone that you have just recently been dating. Um, uh, there might not be like a really strong bond between you and this person yet. And for others... Um, there could have been a ghosting situation that happened quite some time ago. And I do feel like they are going to try to come back in for sure. Okay. Either, either scenario. So King of Wands is here. So this would represent Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And I think I did say um, Leo. Okay. What does Virgo need to do right now? What's Virgo's advice? What does Virgo need to do? What is Virgo's advice? Okay. Well, Virgo, <laughs> your advice is just, look, if they're not here and they're not doing anything and they haven't really said anything to you, continue moving on with your life. Continue socializing with others, dating, um, going out and having fun. Obviously, this person put themselves in a position to lose you for their own personal reasons. And if they didn't feel like they could trust to be open and honest and were willing to forfeit the relationship because of that, that's not really your problem. I mean, you have to respect people's decisions if they're verbal or their actions okay and um you really don't want to be in a position of chasing someone or you know try so they made a re they made a decision for a reason and it's their personal reason so leave them be i feel like that's your advice here um and when the time is right to reunite if you want that you can but it basically feels like redirect your path back into living your life and being happy okay some of you might be um connecting with also a water sign so we said pisces cancer scorpio they were already there or this could be the person you will be reuniting with and this is the person who had this issue either a fire sign water sign okay let me see what else your advice also is an energy with the king of cups is to um, embrace compassion understanding patience and tolerance okay what else does Virgo need to know as far as 
advice and what they should do moving forward. Okay, wow. Think positively, be happy. Ten of Cups. Um, you can be hopeful, okay? Um, definitely be hopeful. I feel like you guys will, are going to somehow figure something out here. I don't know. Um, I feel bad that the person didn't say anything to you, really. Or if they did, they just didn't come full throttle with the truth. Um, but I feel like that might have a lot more to do with their own insecurity and the level of shame and things like that. Um, and if it's it's not if you don't want to try if you like if I know you all have your own decisions so if you're going to decide that you you know you're just moving on <clears throat> be hopeful and positive because I see if you decide to go out and, and meet other people even if you're not trying to date but you decide to go out and meet others there is somebody here coming towards you here who um, is ready is ready to make that full on commitment and like I said this is generally a Pisces card but it can be a water sign. Um, and you might meet this person through a collective of friends or family or work colleagues. Okay, let me see. One final message for Virgo. Virgo's personal, personal message. Personal life message for Virgo here. Okay, Virgo. Interesting. Keep your boundaries up, Virgo. And um, feel like be a little bit cautious. Um and regroup okay for yourself whatever you need to do regroup get yourself back or at least get yourself into a position here where um, you're keeping and maintaining your boundaries in your personal life whatever things that you have whatever um, certain things that you may have started that um, you have been trying to accomplish in your personal life stay persistent with that don't give up um, if you feel heartbroken or you're having a hard time coping um, because of a situation here, Virgo, I feel like remember to keep yourself first. Don't give up on the things that you're doing for you. Don't quit. Okay. Um, things, I do feel like everything comes full circle and I do feel like things are going to work out for you down the line. Um, I feel like it's just a matter of trusting the process. If, if you choose not to, um, you know, kind of give somebody else another, that person, in, um, from before the person is going through these issues, if you choose not to give them a chance, that's your prerogative. And if you want to open yourself up and get back into, you know, cycling forward in your life, you know, as I always say, there's a lid for every pot and somebody else will come down the line. But your personal message here is, you know, you're a warrior, Virgo. No matter how much you've been through in your life, don't quit. Love is coming. All right, Virgo, I will see you guys all back here on Sunday, March 5th, 1 p.m. to do mini personal readings. So with that, have a great weekend and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.